Good morning, dear colleagues. I'm João Caninas, on behalf of the Tumuli and Megalits in Eurasia Congress Organization Committee. I wish you well and that one year from now uh, we can meet physically in Sanova, Portugal. Among the reasons for holding this Congress are the universality of Eurasia's funerary constructions and respective rituals, but also their striking presence in the landscape. We refer in particular to, to those that are widely dispersed throughout Eurasia, with different names depending on the language, such as Mound in English, Kurgan in Turkish, Tsuka in Japanese, or Mamoa in the Portuguese language. They are monticular constructions with very different dimensions, most of them circular, in the for different Along with other monuments such as Mary, these graves unite Portugal to Japan and Sweden to Arabian Peninsula. This is the first focus of the Tumuli and Megalids in Eurasia Congress which is an opportunity to bring uh, together researchers of multiple nationalities who are, who are uh, currently dedicated to their study from Western megalithic tombs to East Europe and Asian Kurgan and classic graves in the Mediterranean region. In addition to the conventional archaeological approach, uh, these structures, their graphical representations, their organization in space and evolution over time, we could not fail to include other specialized approaches in the themes of the Congress, namely on detection techniques, methods of three-dimensional representations, studies of the origin of raw materials, geoarchaeological characterizations, bioanthropological approaches, dating methods, in modes of public conservation and valorization of these sites, among others. These themes are covered in the 17 sections, sessions of this Congress. If it weren't for the postponement that the pandemic imposed on us, the Congress would start tomorrow with a high participation of researchers with good coverage in the communications and posters contained in the program released earlier this year. With another year to promote this Congress, we have an uh, exceptional opportunity to increase participation in the defined sessions, accepting new proposals for communications and posters, an opportunity that we'll soon uh, disclose. As for this meeting, we have two main objectives. The first is to provide an opportunity for participation within the originally defined calendar and help people to accomplish, at least partially, the outputs uh, with uh, the outputs which were committed before the COVID pandemic. The second objective is to present the aims and scope of the different sessions to boost its visibility and attract more podium or poster submissions to the presencial session that will be held in Provença Nova in 25-29 May next year. Without further delay, let's start the preparatory web meeting for the virtual event. The program for this meeting consists of a sequence of 11 small sessions. It's lasting 15 minutes. These sessions correspond to 12 of the 17 uh, themes of the Congress. In each uh, session, the, de the designated coordinator will have a presentation of 10 minutes on the specific theme. 
followed by a period of five minutes for questions and answers, only accessible to participants with accepted communications and posters by the scientific committee. These presentations will be made by colleagues Rudiger, Rudiger Kelm, Paul Felix, Luc Laporte, Opeyemi Advumi, Jorge Nash, Luiz Osterbeck, Maria João Neves, Telmo Pereira, Hugo Pires and Pedro Provenci Cunha, to whom we sincerely thank the avail avail availability. On this date, it wasn't possible to have the presence of the coordinators of Section 2 about geophysical methods in archaeology and cultural heritage. Session 3, about decoding the special significance of mound landscapes. Session 11, about tumuli and megaliths in the Eurasian steppe and the Eastern Europe. Session 12, about South and East Asian megaliths. Session 16, about monumental sites in the landscape, multi-scale and multi-methods approach. We will try to schedule for a future date. Thank you all and good work.